again, it's April here, welcome to another video. This week we're going to do a walk and sketch video. Uh, I thought it was about time, haven't done one for a while. This is going to be Trout Beck Tongue and I'm going to show you a series of photos that I took along the way, including this one just past the river. I really like that little house there uh, and I wanted to draw it. So I'm just going to show you a bunch of photos and they're going to make a little story up in my sketchbook later on. So this is the first part of the video, a walk up to Troutbeck Tongue and I also chose to draw this very strange style which didn't have anything around it and we also walked through a field, several fields of sheep. These are herdwicks I think, they have such personality and cute little faces so I wanted to uh, draw a couple of them too. I took a picture of these two, they posed for me perfectly uh, so that was the second, no, the third? Is that the third photo? <laughs> yeah, it is. And then uh, the rest of the time was just walking basically. So this is Troutbeck Tongue. It's near the village of Troutbeck, which has a lovely uh, old post office, which has been turned into a cafe. We went there on a previous walk and they have the most amazing, uh, what was it, treacle tart? I think it was so good. So we went on Friday night and this is a very short walk, but it was extremely steep going up the side of it here. So steep that at one part, I even was on all fours because it was so steep. I was like, I, was, I thought I was gonna fall backwards. The midway point, I took this photo, which is gonna be the last in the series, but it wasn't the last of the walk. We still had to clamber over some rocks, um, go up a little bit up the mountain, well, I guess you could call it a hill, a really large hill. And we got to the top and we stayed at the top for a little bit as the sun was setting because Martin wanted to see if he could take some photos, but it all got very clouded over and very chilly. So in the end, we just had a few little sandwiches, uh, looked at the sights, and then we made our way back down. So that was our little walk up Trout Beck Tongue. And now let's move on to the drawing phase. I haven't shown drawing process or painting process for a long time because I haven't had videos um, up for a while. I wanted to show the entire process from start to finish. I'm using the Jackson's Arts watercolour book and I'm also using this colour palette which got chosen on Instagram about a week ago. It's the greens and oranges paint palette which I popped up there and a very big brush which was extremely soggy as you can see. Basically the last few weeks I guess I've been doing this process here. So first of all I will paint on the page with the paint. Uh, I use two or three different colours and I just make a hot mess. Um, I used to do this a lot with leftover paint uh, but since doing the domestic course from Jenny Adams I've been doing just kind of like random marks here and there. Uh, kind of like sh how she does on her domestic course which I would definitely recommend. I'll leave it below in the description. And I've been finding this technique really fun to kind of get something on the page so it's not blank. Um, I always really enjoyed doing it when I was using just kind of leftover paint, but now I'm actually thinking more about the color palette. So the next step is getting all of my art materials together. I have been using the Liquitex or the Molotel paint pens, depending on the color. Uh, the really fat ones here are my favorites. A whole bunch of different um, luminance pencils and of course some neo colors. And I had all of these colors pre-picked before. Uh, I think I show that in a, in a vlog. It's not out yet, but it's gonna be coming out soon. So you can kind of see the process of me picking those colors. And I also mentioned on Instagram last week that I do want to do a series on color, how I choose colors or how I've kind of been learning to choose colors. Um, how I think about them, how I use them. So it's definitely gonna be a little bit of introspectiveness, <laughs> is that a word? Uh, looking at my process, really thinking about it. I have a lot of really awesome questions from uh, people on Instagram about color. So I'm really looking forward to doing those. It may not be out for a few weeks because I need to really think about it, R write scripts. Um, I wanna do like a proper, like a really good series of three or four videos. So that will be in the works. I hope that you are looking forward to that because I'm looking forward to it myself. But anyway, what am I up to? I'm painting with the paint pens. So I have been trying to pick one or two colors for the paint pens. I do, uh, I mix them up, but generally I've been using one color for the sky. So in this case, I was using that kind of gray, sagey green. 
and then one color for the hills or the roofs if it's a building or trees um and then sometimes i'll mix it up and i'll kind of change change them around but this is generally what i've been doing so for this color palette it's mainly the greens that i was interested in but then this kind of yellow ochre which is more of an orange uh came into the mix and i do have some orange pencils so it's kind of almost 50 50 between green and orange rather than all green with a hint of orange which is kind of what i was going for in the first place but uh, i think it kind of works this spread isn't my favorite that i've used with these colors um if you check out instagram over the next couple of days i'm going to post a couple of spreads that i'm really happy with uh, this one will be up tonight though when you're if you're watching the video on a Monday so you may have seen this already but I don't know it wasn't one of my favorites I kind of wanted to do a story and I do like the story aspect of it but I think I have been painting really large like I've been painting over the entire spread and doing these panels made me paint really small and I don't know if it just looked messy at the end with all the different colors kind of like smushed together even though I'm trying to do a limited color palette right now, I still think it's a lot of colors. Like I probably could pair it back a little bit more, especially with these smaller panels. So it's not so chaotic, but um, it was pretty therapeutic to draw it. I did it on, a, on the weekend and I was chatting with my friend online um, for, for most of it to keep me company. So that was nice. And um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. I, I'm drawing with pencils now, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, the next phase after the paint pens are the pencils, so I'll shade anything in, uh, and then normally I do the line art first, actually, kind of like what I'm doing on this panel, and right now I'm using this dark green, and I'll tell you what, doing this technique with the pencils, and especially using one dark color for a lot of it, and I've been doing that, especially when I do the buildings because I color in all the roofs and the windows with the same color. I have been going through my colored pencils so fast. Um, a lot of sharpening. I need to definitely make another purchase from Jackson's Art soon because I'm down to like the stubs on some of my pencils. But I have been really enjoying using a really dark color for the outlines or for any details, um, especially like when I mentioned doing buildings and things for the roofs and the windows. I have been super into drawing buildings lately and um, towns and things. So this was a little break from that, doing mountains. And I don't know, I kind of was a little bit bored. I kind of wanted more life in it. Maybe I could have added some more sheep or some more buildings, you know, just from my imagination. Uh, there is something that I really want to do in a future video or a series of videos where I take old illustrations and I'm going to do something, I'm going to call it um, Storify My Illustrations, where I take old uh, images and I kind of try and put life into it. So if it's a empty town, I will put people in and bikes and uh, birds and things. So that's something I'm looking forward to. And I think going forward, I definitely want to think more about the story of a piece rather than just I'm copying a photo or you know just reference or just like copying something I want it to be more of a story and move more towards illustration rather than just kind of art in some things but then in other things I definitely just want it to be art I'm all over the place guys <laughs> I don't really know what I want to do I just know I'm enjoying myself right now I'm enjoying drawing in my sketchbook and playing with uh, new materials and new colors and stuff and uh, yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun. And I think I'm learning a lot as well. My style's definitely changed over the last two, three weeks, I would say, especially since because I've been drawing. I took a really long break where I wasn't drawing for about a month to six weeks. And I don't know if that break helped. I think it definitely helped. I don't know if it helped change the style, but maybe when I came back, I was like fresh um, and I was m more open to trying new things. Uh, so I think it helped in that aspect. But yeah, it's definitely changed. You probably, if you've been following on Instagram at all, um, you may have noticed it's gone kind of more like graphical, um, more illustrative. And I really love the um, direction I'm going. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Anyway, gotta stop babbling <laughs> because I'm moving on now. Oh my gosh, it's so fast. Okay, so uh, after I do all of the pencil work, I have been using Neo Colors, which I've been using for a long time now, like what, a year, I would say. Um, I picked some colors, so I have this pop of bright green, which is like a really nice aqua 
the peach and the pale yellow and the green lime green that goes really well with other colors and especially that lovely white in the sky for the clouds. So my favorite panel is actually the one on the right, I think this one here, and I think I wanna do this again on a really big piece of paper or something like that. I think that would be a really, with all the fields and the colors, I think that'd be lovely. But that is our mission for next, next week, I think. But I've got a lot of painting planned for the month of August and a lot of videos, art videos especially. So I hope that you will enjoy future videos. Let me know what you thought about this spread. Is it messy or is it extremely artistic? Let me know. Uh, have a lovely rest of your week and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.